As contractors, we know the downsides to all the different things on the market, all the problems, all the failure modes. There is absolutely no sump in this catch basin to speak of. So the sediment is gonna collect in the pipe. Now, all that water is gonna pour right at the roof. Your gutter trough's gonna fill up and it's gonna pour off of the house. You're gonna end up with a flooded basement or a flooded crawl space. Now, as a yard drain, you can use our six inch grate. It has more inlet than any other six inch grate. The reason why we brought this to market was because of what our competitors were doing. This is what was on the market. You connect a pipe up to this end, you have your inlet here, your outlet here, and this is your sump. Any sediment is supposed to collect in the sump. There's virtually no sump. So what's gonna happen as you're collecting sediment, the sediment's gonna collect in the pipe and your pipe is just gonna fill up with sediment and clog. That's the number one reason why yard drains fail. By design, we have a greater distance from the inlet to the outlet than a 12 by 12 catch basin so that we can catch more shingle gravel and debris. This is built like a belly. Every drainage contractor out there that's worth his weight in salt knows nothing catches more sediment than a belly in a line. For a DIYer or contractor, nothing could be simpler or quicker in a muddy trench. When it's cold, rainy, all the different elements that you're gonna find when you're installing these sediment traps, you wanna have convenience. Now what's nice about this, this will go inside PVC or it'll connect to corrugated pipe. Either or, it's a really nice fit, it's quick and it's easy to hook up. As you're building your yard drain, you need to put slope on your yard drain, which means your pipe's gonna get deeper. As your pipe gets deeper, you're gonna need risers. We made some HDPE risers. Each riser gives you an inch and a half of lift. Every time you go down to another catch basin, you just increase the risers. Very easy, no tools required. You don't need a sawzall, you don't need a power drill. Everything is a quick slip fit. This riser has a flange on it. The reason why it has this flange on it, when you backfill with stone or dirt and you go to take the lid off to clean it, it's not gonna lift and come up out of the ground because of this flange. We also have six locations where you can drill small holes. That way, after a rain, the little bit of water that's left in this inline sediment trap can leach away into the subsoil. Another feature that we built into the sediment trap, we designed it so that the sediment all collects towards the center. This makes it so much easier to clean out. Whether you clean it out by hand or whether you stick a shop vac wand down inside to suck out the sediment, it's really nice when all the sediment is concentrated to the center. So we've thought of everything. As contractors, we know the downsides to all the different things on the market. So we went ahead, set out to make an inline sediment trap of our own. We wanted to correct for all the problems.